Alright, so this is a quick video on how to do the speed override service on a 325 SeaDo. Um, there's a couple parts to this, so it's a little bit confusing when we're trying to talk about it online. Uh, so I figured I'd just throw a video together. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is open up Buds 2 with your Mechatronic license. This will not work with the dealer level license or any other. Uh, you have to have the highest level license. Uh, Mechatronic or AS developer, um, which will give you access to change certain core functions that the dealer level would normally not let you do. So after you open up BUDS2 and you scan your vehicle, you're going to be under this tab here, Vehicle Summary, and then you're going to see the vehicle model number. This is one of the first things you're going to have to change. So if your ski is in North America, it's going to be coded differently than it is for international skis. Uh, and we want to change this to the international model code. And you can find yours by going to this website here, epc.brp.com. Go under the Sea Dew Watercraft tab, 2024. I have an RXTX, so I'm going to go to this category. Um, now it's previously coded as North America. I don't remember what that code was. Like I said, the patch was already done to my ski. So I'm going to go to the international because that's what we need to change it to. Uh, and I have the ice metal with the audio. So this is my four digit model code that I need to change it to. So we'll go back to buds. Now if the ski was connected and the, the, the patch wasn't applied, you would just double click on this here uh, or click the play button, change it to 10RD or whatever your model code for the international variant would be uh, and that's it. It'll save. Uh, some people get a error message saying the change couldn't be applied. Um, it, it does apply. You can always just rescan after the fact just to make sure it's stuck but for some reason uh, some people tend to get a code. I, I think that was fixed in the more recent versions of BUDS uh, but if you happen to get that error code you could ignore it. The next thing you want to do is go to the CDID tab uh, and still make sure you're under the vehicle tab here. You don't want to be under VCI or any of these sub modules. You have to be on the vehicle tab here. Um, and then on the right hand side, you'll see this vehicle version and vehicle usage. Originally, both of these are set to series. Uh, this one here. You want to change those both to racing and then write single values and write raw values. That'll save it back to the ski. Uh, and then I recommend. Uh, closing out of buds, uh, reopening it, uh, you know, power cycling the skate, do a rescan just to make sure the settings change uh, because sometimes they don't stick. Uh, but that's that's all you need to do to, in order to get the speed override on the 325. Um, now, once you do that, you're most likely going to get a fault code. Now, this isn't showing because the ski's not connected. But I'll go to the possible codes here and I'll show you what it's going to show as. And you're, you're going to get this code here, which is U0400. Um, and essentially what happens is when you change that model code to the international version, there's some kind of incompatibility with the ECU and the GPS module that's in the dash of the ski, um, which is essentially how the, the, the tweak works. Uh, the, the code is harmless, it doesn't mean anything is wrong, so if you go through the fault codes on your cluster and you happen to see U0400, that's perfectly fine. Anybody that has ever done the 325 or ride is going to get this code. Um, and as a matter of fact, I did mine about 16 hours ago and I think I've erased the code twice and it hasn't come back since, um, which is why it's not showing up under the active anymore. So that's all there is to it. Um, once you're done, just save it, ride the ski. Something to note, for some reason, the start and sport mode doesn't seem to work with the 325s. Um, all you need to do is press the mode button once, and that will lock it into sport mode, but it doesn't start into sport mode. Uh, it's a little confusing to explain, but once you take the ski out and you experience it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, but that's pretty much it.